At the moment, there's about four months surplus in the world, so if no one produced any food for the next four months, that would be the amount of food we'd have left, OK? That's a big surplus. How many people relate the woolly things in the field to the leg of lamb on their plate? In my view, as farmers, our role is healthy soil, healthy plants, healthy animals, healthy people. Because at the end of the day, we're producing food for people. But there's so many children that think milk comes out of a carton or... Farmers poisoning the nation. I'll never forget it. And I said, we can't fight this. During this lambing time now, we could be putting 18, 20 hours a day in. You're custodians, we always say it. Mm. We're custodians of, of the, the lamb, yeah. yes. You get rid of one thing and then something else comes back to bite you. We are in a situation where we have unpredictable weather and unpredictable markets. But all this thing about passing on and continuation and, you know, once I'm gone, it's not going to be my worry, is it? I don't think I could be anything else. No. <laughs> it's a wonderful life. There's a lot of faults, but it is. You put it in on trays and you sort of fed this sort of green stuff to the cows. Acre maker. This is all coming back to me now. We're trying some quite uh, different techniques in our cropping. And I'm... I mean, with the tractors today, a really top-notch tech, high-tech tractor, they use satellite. And it knows exactly where you are in the field, and it will alter, won't it, the oh, spray yeah. it'll, or it'll whatever. It'll build up a picture you, from yeah. when the harvest, the previous crop, and identify any weak spots in the field where the crop is low-yielding, and uh, the <laughs> tractor drives itself. <laughs> There was a young lad putting the, you know, putting the potatoes on the shelf in a bag and he was just going, donk, donk. And I said, excuse me, but you have now bruised all those potatoes. Oh, have I? I told you I wasn't typical. 